Hi folks, this is Karen reminding you that the second Saturday of every month is our United We Strike, United We Win Marathon on unitedwestrike.com, unitedwewin.me, wolfspiritradio.com, and more links available on the sites. Join us, add your energy to peaceful noncompliance by telling the multinational corporate banking system we refuse to go along with their program. We refuse to be accomplices for this day. And as we educate ourselves and as we grow, we will be able to be heard more and more until finally we strike, we boycott, and we never go back. We go forward in justice and peace and honor and integrity. Power to the people through peaceful unity, the second Saturday of every month and every 15th. Spread the word. Thank you. Ja, und hier ist der Detlef wieder von Wake News Radio. Wir sind in der dritten Stunde unserer heutigen Sendung. Hi, this is Detlef of Wake News Radio and within our United We Win Radio Marathon of uh, August 11th, uh, 2012. And we are in the first uh, English-speaking hour, the third of my hour, uh, here talking about uh, what is going on in the German area. Uh, und für alle, die jetzt hier noch zuhören aus dem deutschen äh, Bereich, ähm, ich äh, wollte diese Stunde jetzt hier dann äh, eigentlich die Dinge auch nochmal ein bisschen auf Englisch versuchen zusammenzufassen, ähm, die äh, wir also in den ersten beiden Stunden diskutiert haben. Also ihr seid alle herzlich willkommen hier äh, in dieser Stunde blei, äh, da, dabei zu bleiben. Ihr könnt auch gerne auch noch Fragen reinbringen, äh, die kann ich versuchen dann auch noch zu beantworten, auch zu den ersten beiden Stunden und da muss das dann natürlich ein bisschen auch auf uh, English dann übersetzen. So for all English speaking listeners, um, we had two hours in German. I was starting uh, the United We Win Marathon today with uh, German uh, um, in the German speaking area and uh, worldwide we do have listeners uh, which are, you know, listening to the German transmission of uh, Wake News Radio. And we will have a great, uh, wonderful program today as well, because um, every second uh, Saturday of the month, we do have our United Women Radio Marathon. So you're always welcome to listen to the program. And if you're interested in the um, program of today, uh, which is coming up, uh, you can uh, download this or have a look at it uh, by just going on to the unitedwestrike.com um, website. And uh, you will find on the right side a list of the links. And if you click uh, United We Win, you will get to the program of today. And after I'm here, ready here and I'm uh, through with my part of the today's program, you will get on to the UK. Um, so we will, you know, wander around the world, um, basically going through the time zones. Okay, <laughs> so everybody has a chance to listen to our program. So and this is going to be very interesting. We have got uh, great guests and great hosts uh, during the whole uh, show. Okay, um, I'll just give another uh, link uh, and uh, uh, information to our German-speaking uh, listeners, which are still in the program. Um, also für alle, die jetzt uh, Deutsch uh, nur Deutsch sprechen oder Deutsch verstehen, kann das vielleicht ein bisschen äh, schwieriger werden, aber die meisten sprechen ja Englisch, also äh, ihr seid also willkommen hier mir da auch noch zuzuhören in dieser Stunde, die jetzt hier auf uns zukommt und ähm, da ich das in der letzten Stunde nicht mehr geschafft habe, weil wir ein bisschen überzogen haben mit dem Dr. Werner Ranikow noch den Hinweis, also wir spielten in den Pausen äh, eben nochmal von äh, Dragon Perfect Steel Kingdom of the Fools Und dann jetzt zum Schluss äh, von danosongs.com, äh, The Living Physicist. Äh, und alle äh, Musiker und DJs und äh, äh, Bands und was weiß ich, die hier zuhören, könnt ihr mir gerne eure Musik reinschicken. Die spielen wir dann auch gerne weltweit. Also unter radio at wakenews.net. Okay, for all our international listeners, if you uh, want to donate your music to our shows, you are welcome to send this information to us. Just send us an mp 3 uh, to radio at wakenews.net and we will uh, pass, uh, we will listen to it and pass it on to our, uh, uh, other radio stations. We are a worldwide, worldwide net. Um, we're networking all together from Australia to, 
uh, to America and Europe, of course, and so forth. So you're welcome to do so. Okay. So what did we do in the first couple of hours? Uh, I gave a brief uh, information about a recent press release by the highest uh, uh, court in the uh, Federal Republic of Germany. Um, and um, this is the Federal Constitutional Court, uh, which had uh, decided um, uh, on uh, a very, very important subject on July 25th, uh, t- uh, 2012, so just uh, a few weeks ago. And... Um, the, the, there was the second division of this federal court, uh, which had uh, um, um, proclaimed a, a judgment that the amendment of the federal election law, which was uh, recently newly designed uh, by the current uh, government of the Federal Republic of uh, Germany, um, a, a new method of allocating representative seats in the so-called Bundestag, Uh, which was uh, clearly found to be uh, breaching the principles of equality in direct suffrage and the equal opportunities of parties. And um, this is so important because basically, and I don't want to read the whole story because uh, this press release is not existing uh, currently in the English language. I had a telephone conversation this week um, with... uh, this federal court, whether they had any uh, English translation of their German uh, press release, which they seemingly don't have, which I found pretty strange because it's such a very important, uh, you know, judgment or, you know, court ruling that should be well known all around the world. And that's why I'm uh, focusing on this one here in the third hour of my program today, because it basically states that if this um, uh, law, which is, uh, you know, being used since 1953, is not correct or illegal, actually, then basically um, all governments which have uh, been uh, active since then, um, you know, were acting unconstitutionally. Uh, That means everything which they did Uh, whether it was laws which they had, uh, you know, developed and uh, basically, uh, you know, brought into action, and all contracts and all, uh, you know, whatever they have done, basically, is illegal. So can you imagine what, uh, what kind of scandal this is and what kind of scandal this is also for the worldwide community? I mean, uh, you know, we also have to differentiate between Germany which is basically the synonym for uh, Deutsches Reich or German Empire, yeah? if you translate this into German. And this is a legal term which is being used internationally in, uh, in, in state laws, okay, so in, in the worldwide community. So this is nothing, has nothing to do, by the way, with, with Nazi Germany or anything like that, or Third Reich, the Deutsches Reich or uh, the German um, um, uh, empire uh, existed uh, a long time before Hitler came to power. So this is uh, basically uh, going back to to the uh, 1900s. So it's uh, in, in, in 1846 that was the first uh, constitution um, uh, for this uh, German empire being uh, brought up and uh, and so forth. So it's this is a, a very important judgment and we have to, to know the difference between the so-called Germany uh, or German Empire and the F- Federal Republic of Germany. Because the Federal Republic of Germany was actually created out of uh, the um, um, end of the Second World War where the um, uh, the winning uh, powers to be, which were the U.S., obviously, Great Britain or the United Kingdom, um, then uh, Russia or, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the you know, the, the huge Russian uh, uh, entity which was uh, ruling before them, the communists, and um, the UDSSR. USSR, and uh, China, obviously, because they uh, were part of the Allied forces which were winning the war against uh, Japan. And um, 
Uh, of course, uh, France, which uh, took over um, parts of the uh, Chinese uh, responsibilities over here in Europe uh, versus uh, the uh, German uh, Empire or versus uh, Germany or now then Federal Republic of Germany and so forth. Uh, so we have to keep this in, in mind. Um, so based on, on conquering the German Empire or uh, you know, uh, taking over responsibilities, um, you know, which split after, you know, the East and the West uh, did not get along any any longer after the war. And uh, we uh, had this Cold War starting. So Germany was actually split up in, in different territories, uh, occupied territories, um, Eastern territories and the Western territories. So for the Western part, uh, the Federal Republic of Germany was created. And this was not a sovereign state. It was not, never meant to be a sovereign state. It was actually a, uh, a country or a part of uh, a country which was uh, still in the hands of the Allied forces. We all know that. And since uh, 1990, okay, where the alleged, uh, um, you know, uh, um, the alleged new entity um, started, which uh, brought the Eastern uh, parts and the western parts together at least um, parts of that um, which was actually uh, celebrated uh, as uh, now being uh, the, new, the the Germany which used to be uh, much bigger and, um, and in a different uh, legal term so just to give this uh, little history uh, insight uh, so we, we actually um, uh, experienced that um, this um, these allied forces took over and um, gave this Western part, um, I mean, speaking it's now for the Americans and uh, the British and the French, um, which were the Western uh, Allied forces, which brought uh, a so-called basic law to the Western uh, part of uh, Germany, which was called Federal Republic of Germany, which is called Basic Law or Grundgesetz, as it is called in German, which was based on the Hager um, um, War uh, um, uh, Court ruling, which was agreed upon by um, you know all nations in in the world, which were uh, you know obliged to to set up a, um, a, a a law in order to prevent uh, you know. This uh, becoming an anarchistic uh, country, you know, where everything goes uh, goes under. So we, they had to have the responsibility to uh, to take care of uh, law and order being brought back into this uh, into this part of uh, of Germany. So that's what they did. And based on on this basic law, the Grundgesetz, uh, everything started. And uh, you know, since uh, 1953, when this. Um, um, uh, law was uh, set in place uh, which regulated uh, the um, um, the um, uh, elections and so forth, the principles of elections equality um, and the equal opportunities of the parties were found to be violated by, uh, you know, this way of setting up this, uh, this law. And now we are actually facing uh, the the judgment or the the ruling of the highest court of uh, this Federal Republic of Germany that uh, you know all governments which had used this law since uh, fifty three are basically uh, working illegally and I think this is such a huge uh, thing which is such a scandal so we have to talk about this um, in detail though I don't want to get into the legal aspects I. Um, you know, as uh, I'm still waiting for the correct translations um, based on the uh, original uh, statements of uh, the uh, Federal Constitutional Court of the Federal Republic of Germany, um, I want to to discuss the uh, the impact which this uh, law actually uh, gives to to the German uh, people, right? And this is not only a finding which is important for the German people as such, but it's also important for, for the international community. Because the Federal Republic of Germany, uh, playing the role of Germany, you know, because it is it, uh, to the outside, they are saying, we are Germany, 
which is legally not correct because they are not uh, the successor of the German Empire. So they are not uh, the real Deutschland or Germany as we know it, um, according to international law. Um, but they are saying that they are setting up uh, an illusion, a, a propaganda machine, if you want to. Um, and um, under this um, pseudonym of Germany, they are basically acting as if they were Germany, but they are not the legal successor. So on, under this impression, all nations in the world, at least the population of those nations, because I, I'm, I'm sure that uh, all the, uh, you know, the people behind the curtains, I mean, they, they know exactly what's happening, what the case is and what the reality is. Uh, so the, the key uh, people behind the scenes, which I used to call um, uh, dims or dominant insane minorities, um, which are basically uh, oriented by, you know, from from the bankster family, so bank, banking f- cabal, if you want to, which are behind everything which is uh, being, um, you know, monitored today in the world. They are behind all the wars. They are behind all this globalization. They are behind uh, all the uh, the money scam, you know, was on the debt based money system and so forth. And they're also behind uh, all the politicians which are ruling in those countries which they have uh, taken over and those countries which they haven't yet. They are the rogue nations, as they call it. They like to call it. <laughs> they try to conquer now, you know. By using all their NATO forces, which uh, you know are basically working for this uh, cabal, you know, and all the the CIA and so forth. I don't want to get into that. Uh, you will hear lots of uh, um, information about this uh, during the whole radio marathon of today of United We Win marathon uh, by other uh, great uh, guests and hosts. But I want to get back to the outcome of this ruling of the uh, Federal Constitutional Court in the Federal Republic of Germany. Now, they actually say, and they had a first uh, ruling already made in 2008, where there was the basic uh, same information in there, uh, but it was not taken notice by the government. So, the uh, you know, Merkel actually, as head of this uh, Federal Republic of Germany, the government or management, I mean, you know, um, we all know that the Federal Republic of Germany is not a sovereign state. It is a, a, an artificial uh, construction of allied forces after the Second World War and is operating as, an, as a non-governmental organization. And since 1990, they, uh, the allied forces or allied nations basically took away, um, um, you know, the power from, from this management of this NGO by eliminating uh, the uh, uh, one of the most important parts of this basic law, the Grundgesetz, which was actually, um, you know, uh, um, showing or uh, um, defining the territory where this basic law would uh, be, uh, uh, you know, uh, be in action or be um, in um, in action, yes, in action. So, thus, um, basically, since 1990, uh, you know, this basic law is actually out of, uh, out of, out of order because if you have a law which is not really um, you know, being brought into action in, in any territory, then this law actually doesn't exist, right? So, apart from that, uh, so the Allied uh, forces basically wanted uh, the German um, um, people to decide on, on which road they want to go, but the, the powers to be uh, and the, the powers that were at that time didn't want that because if the people had, uh, the, had had the chance to decide on their own which way direction they want to go, they would have uh, maybe kicked them out, yeah, okay, and uh, had, uh, would have uh, set up something, uh, you know, which was based on the on the real international law and on, 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 the, on, on the basics of uh, Germany or the German Empire. 
So that is what they wanted to prevent. And since then, basically, everything went out of control. And we are now in a position, based also on this recent uh, judgment uh, of uh, the Federal uh, Constitutional Court in Germany, that um, those in, in power at the moment definitely are operating illegally. So everything is illegal what they what they are uh, what they have been doing and what they are doing and uh, most uh, you know uh, striking things are the financial terror which is taking place so the ESM the European Stability Mechanism um, contract which has to be uh, signed you know by by uh, all European nations uh, which has uh, up to now been prevented by this federal constitutional court, by their uh, ruling now, uh, based on this uh, July 25th uh, decision, and also by asking for a little bit more time to make a decision on this, um, and they are supposed to rule on this particular issue uh, September, I think September 15th sometime. So uh, in a couple of uh, more weeks. Um, so this is so important that we reveal uh, the truth behind the whole uh, story of this um, uh, unconstitutional ruling by these people, uh, you know, these persons, you know, this Merkel, Schäuble, and, uh, you know, all the parties involved, because they actually are not a government, apart from, you know, uh, the Federal Republic of Germany not being a sovereign state anyways, but even under the um, laws of this uh, uh, non-government organization, uh, they are acting illegally, unconstitutional. So everything which they have um, taken um, as a decision, all the laws which they brought into action, all uh, you know contracts which they made with other state, with other states or nations. Um, I'm referring also to to uh, you know the European states here, especially in the German speaking area I mean, with with Switzerland, which is a non-European state. Um, they have made uh, several contracts with them, and they are all illegal. And with all the other states and nations worldwide, everything is illegal, which was done by this uh, uh, so-called government. Okay? So, what do we learn from that? That we have to basically uh, inform all of our governments, um, I mean, our respective governments, where you live. I mean, when you're listening here from, from Europe, you have to ask your French government, if you're coming from France, or from Great Britain, you have to ask your um, government, uh, please uh, have an investigation into this subject. Um, there's something wrong with the German uh, government. The, their own ruling says they are illegally operating. Uh, you know, everything which has been done within the European community, uh, the European Union, something is wrong here, because this cannot be... Um, you know, real. I mean, this is not uh, not even lawful, okay, <laughs> and and not legal, uh, anyways. So uh, everybody has uh, to step in here, or in Austria, or in Switzerland. Everybody has to ask this question. And my uh, my reason for talking about this is basically to give. Uh, you some arguments uh, to investigate into this to this matter uh, for the german speaking uh, countries uh, like austria switzerland and so it's uh, obviously a little bit easier because we already have uh, the german speaking documents available and uh, currently and we had uh, dr werner ratnikov uh, in the first couple of hours explaining to us uh, all the issues behind uh, this uh, ruling um, and the actions which, which we have to take out of this, and currently the organization Dr. Werner Ratnikov is working for, this is the United uh, Self-Government uh, um, Organization, uh, because, you know, as Germany or the Federal, Federal Republic of Germany is not a sovereign state, they are actually uh, not really representing uh, the uh, rights of a natural person. So if you are not self-proclaiming uh, yourself as a, as a uh, as government um, for yourself, uh, so to say, according to um, UN uh, resolution, uh, which is uh, important to know also for everybody who is not familiar with this, um, 
because there are other uh, situations in other countries where you may um, have um, the, the need to look for that because there is a UN resolution uh, which is called A um, dash res res dash 56 dash 83 article 9 which is basically offering um, everybody who is living in, 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 in a situation in a country, in a nation um, which is um, uh, not a sovereign state, which is violating your rights, that you can proclaim your own uh, self-government, right? Uh, under these, uh, mm, uh, under this uh, UN resolution, you can always refer to this uh, UN resolution, which gives you a certain, uh, you know, um, uh, lawful uh, environment, also a legal environment where you can, where you can uh, get back to. Um, so this is also important to know. And even, um, you know, the people who are under this uh, self-government have to now take action. Because, you know, why did you go into such a self-government? Um, why did you do that? You did this because the Federal Republic of Germany is not representing uh, Germany as such. It's not uh, the successor of the German Empire. And uh, if you want to have a real sovereign state uh, as a German, you have to basically uh, demand for that. And the only way to do it is uh, to talk about it, to give the reason for it, which I'm trying here with uh, this uh, summarizing, uh, you know, uh, conclusions, uh, which we uh, have been uh, discussing also in the first couple of hours in German. Um, to the international audience, um, and um, and you have to demand this also from from the international community because if you have this international criminal court in Den Haag, in the Haag, okay, or in the Hague, as you, some Americans like to call it, the Hague, I guess, um, where you can actually go to and um, demand that they have an investigation into the uh, into this matter. Um, concerning uh, the Federal Republic of Germany because they are actually suppressing um, the Germans living in here. They basically, it's, it's mass murder, if you want to, uh, according to international law, if they try to kick you out of your existence. And this is basically what we have, uh, which we can see happening. Yeah, so that's the the reason for for us organizing and um, putting up uh, papers and uh, um, this is also planned and this was um, discussed in the first couple of hours that under the guidance uh, of the United Self Governments dot org organization which is Vereinigte dot dash Selbstverwaltungen dot org or org org um, uh, they will prepare now or they are preparing. Now, um, to collect um, the author authorizing um, um, signatures uh, by uh, all Germans who are interested uh, in fighting, in fighting this and demanding to get their right back um, to collect this and uh, go with all the collected uh, um, uh, data, um, the uh, signatures from from all interested parties. Uh, here uh, to the International Criminal Court in The Hague and demand that they investigate this. And currently all the documents are being, uh, you know, worked on and prepared. And this, it, this will be available also, um, not only in German, but also in English and Russian, by the way, uh, because also Russia still has, uh, uh, you know, interests here in, in, in uh, what is happening in the German Empire, uh, which they helped conquering, okay? <laughs> and we all know the tensions around the world, you know, that uh, China, Russia, uh, the U.S., uh, Great Britain, and France basically are uh, having a, a, another cold war going on. I mean, it, 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 it can become a hot war soon if things are escalating in Syria and, uh, and Iran, possibly, or in other areas of the world, we all know this. We all follow this; uh, those news every day. Um, you know where where Russia and China definitely have other interests, uh, or maybe the same as the Americans and uh, Great Britain and France, but they are uh, on the opposite side, right? So they are fighting against each other again. 
So and this is escalating, and so this is very important to to get to the root uh, of uh, uh, the truth and try to to talk about this. And I try to do this in in my words. Obviously, um, uh, this is just the start of the whole thing. We will work this out, and we try to bring this to a greater public because it has to have uh, international attention. If you have something like this of a great scandal taking place uh, in the middle of Europe, or out of a country or a uh, an area which is uh, very important uh, to the whole European uh, system or even the world, not economically only, but also politically and uh, militarily, because there's lots of uh, weapons being shipped out here uh, into all these areas, um, uh, into, uh, you know, so this is a, a big, big thing here, um, the German uh, issue, and we have to expose this. And if it's true that this is being tolerated by some of the uh, administrations, um, which definitely know what is uh, what's going on uh, over here in uh, Germany or in the Federal Republic of Germany, then this is uh, this is an international issue as well. And we all know uh, that in the U.S. Um, the Obama administration is under attack because uh, of uh, the um, uh, complaint that Obama basically is not an American. Okay, the 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 released documents uh, or uh, reports rather, um, from one of his uh, um, student co uh, colleagues or, you know, um, w w which, w which, are, which are saying that he never actually attended this university and if, then definitely not as an American and not under his uh, name, Barack H. Obama, possibly under his uh, pseudonym, um, uh, Barry Soitoro, but then as an international student because his rates seem to have been so low that he would not have uh, had the uh, you know access to such a uh, uh, university so and uh, things like that so th there are lots of scandals take uh, getting to the um, um, uh, getting to be discovered and um, publicized and and all the new media as we like to call ourselves i mean i'm i'm definitely here one who is uh, was also bringing up uh, another uh, voice, uh, which is uh, trying to, uh, you know, to stand up against the propaganda, which we also have to suffer under here in the German-speaking area, by the matrix media, as we call this, uh, or the mass media, which is controlled by um, those who also control the money system, and also control all uh, politicians and governments. Uh, and even um, definitely the Federal Republic of Germany, because, uh, uh, you know, uh, we, re we remember that um, uh, Mrs. Merkel, um, as head of this um, entity, Federal Republic of Germany, uh, had an invitation to Joe Ackermann, who was uh, the boss of uh, the Deutsche Bank, a uh, German bank, which is uh, also operating worldwide and has lots of scandals going on, uh, had a uh, uh, birthday party uh, a few years ago uh, for this Joe Ackerman in this, uh, uh, in, the, in, in, in her, uh, you know, um, locations in Berlin. And this was actually uh, a scandal because, you know, they, she was, uh, you know, inviting people and she didn't even release the list of numbers, uh, uh, the list of uh, members of this party, um, and uh, there, there had a there had to be a lawsuit uh, put in place in order to get to this information, just to get a list of people who were invited to this uh, specific party. And uh, you know, is this is definitely not a conspiracy theory? It's conspiracy practical. Uh, practically, uh, because you know it's uh, it's reality. It's a conspiracy fact that this party took place, and there's a list of people which the government, the so-called government, is not trying uh, not trying to suppress and not not releasing to the uh, to the public. Although there is a public demand to to know what this uh, head of state, so to, so to say, or uh, uh, you know, governing uh, entity. Uh, basically is doing not only with tax money, but also, you know, is this party 
just showing who is actually ruling this uh, this Federal Republic of Germany. It probably is because we all know and this is also nothing new that um, the euro uh, as such is not a currency. It's a copyrighted uh, paper um, as well as the uh, American uh, Federal Reserve banknote or bank money, which is also not a real currency. It is uh, private money, which is lent to the American um, uh, state. Okay. Uh, and then, you know, you have to, they have to pay interest for that. <laughs> and the same thing is with the euro. So it's not a currency. So, and, and, and who's profiting from this? And if you, if you listen to, um, um, you know, an interview which is uh, made a couple of years ago by the former, by one of the former, um, finance ministers or treasury ministers, um, in uh, the Federal Republic of Germany, who was actually saying, uh, being questioned, what, when do you pay back all the debt? And he clearly said, well, we, we don't pay back any debt. We not, have no interest in that. We are not thinking of paying back any debt. Uh, and, and people, you know, the, the media, which was interviewing at that time, uh, was pretty, pretty astonished. And, 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 and what is with all the interest payments and so forth? Yeah, yeah, we do pay the interest. Yeah. And how do you pay the interest? Well, we, we take up new debt. <laughs> so, you know, this is clearly showing that they have no interest uh, to, uh, you know, reduce debt or, uh, you know, do good things for the country. They just take up new debt and debt and debt and debt. And they are putting in, in debt everybody who is living in, in this uh, in this Federal Republic of Germany, as an example. But this is very similar to other states as well, other nations worldwide. So this brings up... Um, the question, who is actually ruling um, those governments or those uh, politicians or those, uh, you know, officials? And you clearly get an answer out of this reply of this uh, official here from the Federal Republic of Germany. But basically, it's the banks, because they are not interested in, no bank is interested in getting um, uh, the debt paid back, which they gave out, or the loans. They're interested in the interest payments. Uh, why? Because of the fractional banking system. Because out of those, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, interest payments, they can set up uh, new debt, new uh, loans, which they um, uh, bring out, and it's, 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 they only have to, to cover 10% of this officially uh, as a reserve. But this is also, you know, a scam because uh, lots of these uh, reserves basically exist out of, uh, um, you know, uh, false uh, false papers, you know, like derivatives, you know, of, of what kind soever, of non, uh, <laughs> non-existing, uh, you know, things which are which they take as as a as a you know as their ten percent uh, security. You know, so that's that's why all the banks are in trouble. They they could never act, uh, actually pay back uh, what people uh, um, um, you know put in uh, into the banks. I mean, they they basically permanently broke because it's a, it's a system of being broke, <laughs> and this debt based money system is, is is a complete scam. We all know that. Uh, so this is no news for for most of the listeners. But you just have to realize that. You know, this is based on, 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 on the interests only of a minor group of uh, people, uh, which I call the dims, the dominant insane minority, which, are, which have, um, you know, put out this, this debt-based money system uh, in order to control the whole world. You know, you can bribe people, you can um, give people, uh, you know, money which they, you want to support. You can buy things uh, which is uh, important to you. And uh, you can lend money uh, to people, uh, you know, who can never pay this back. And basically, you just uh, you just take everything they have afterwards. Uh, that's at least what they try. Um, but now we, we more and more find out that this is all a scam. This is all, uh, you know, it's it's based on nothing. It's it's not even hot air. It's it's 
cold air. <laughs> so it's nothing worth. I mean, we're talking about uh, these uh, money and bank state issues all the time. And this is important to understand for everybody who's listening. So I'm uh, glad you are tuned in, and we will have uh, great uh, stories to come uh, for everybody. But it's important to learn that now the people who live in the Federal Republic of Germany and also people around the world basically take notice of this situation and get to the truth and and do have this, ah, okay, I didn't know that effect, uh, because this is very important in order to basically force these people to to get out of their posts, out of their jobs, and, and leave this now to the real boss, the real sovereign, the real uh, chef, as they say this uh, in France, uh, the patron, yeah, uh, so the, the real boss, and this is the people, this is us, this is we, and we cannot, we can no longer uh, let these people rob us and uh, um, you know, steal everything from us and run us into a disaster. Um, you know, that's why they are supporting wars because wars, during wars, they can basically, um, you know, take our rights like, like nothing. They can take our basic rights, our, our constitutional rights, our human rights, um, easily by just saying, yeah, we are now in war and uh, everything is a different thing. And now we, you know, you can clearly see this uh, in the in the United States where this is taking place um, every day in in, in in an incredible speed, you know, being prepared by all other governments before. I mean, you know, the, the president is just a puppet. This is the same thing here in the Federal Republic of Germany. I mean, everybody's talking about Merkel, but uh, Mrs. Merkel is just uh, one of the puppets. All, all, you know, people before then, since 1953, I just said this, um, discovered or proclaimed here by this uh, uh, highest court in the Federal Republic of Germany, the Federal Constitutional Court, they have decided that, you know, since 1953, all governments were, un- were operating unconstitutional. <laughs> this is an incredible uh, information, and I'm really astounded that um, that this is not headline uh, everywhere around the world. That this has been uh, found out. Um, okay, and so forth. And um, uh, now we are really um, um, heading to this situation that uh, the German people are waking up. And as I said, this organization which is represented uh, by Dr. Werner Ratnikov, which I had in the first couple of weeks, um, uh, no, sorry, the first couple of hours, sorry, um, uh, he was actually saying, well, give us uh, your um, signature so we can uh, work in your name and uh, go to the International Criminal Court and uh, demand an investigation and immediate uh, action uh, to be taken in order to uh, end this uh, this terror regime, I mean, this is they are basically putting terror upon uh, uh, all the people living in, in 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 Germany because they are giving away everything we have. They are privatizing everything which belongs to the to the uh, to the people. I mean, if, whether it's the uh, infrastructure, you know. Uh, water works, electricity works, uh, uh, you know, uh, the rail, uh, railways, which are, uh, in, uh, which are national, basically, when they, which, uh, the, the mail, uh, the post office, whatever, they, they just want to privatize everything, so everything given away for peanuts to the banksters, so they can control everything. I mean, they are making a huge corporation out of the whole world. Um, and uh, I think that's a, that's a very important uh, issue, not only for the German people, but for the whole world. Um, and, um, yeah, well, I, I think this is, uh, is, is important to know that we are now uh, heading towards a confrontation also between the people here in the German, in the Federal Republic of Germany and the so-called government, because if they don't understand that now is the time to step down after this ruling of their own highest court, um, then, you know, I don't know what. 
we are very interested in in a peaceful, substantiated uh, arguments, uh, uh, discussion, um, solution, uh, than in a um, you know in anything else. So we try to 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 bring this up to the uh, to the way we look at it, a lawful way, which is uh, going to the to the highest court, which is available for us, uh, which is the International Criminal Court in the Hague. And um, we will do this pretty soon. And uh, everybody is now being, um, um, uh, yeah, being asked to help us. Help us. Um, if you are a German, send us your signature. So uh, go to the website, vereinigte-selbstverwaltung.org, for English-speaking people um, and for the German-speaking again. Also bringt uns eure Vollmachten damit man hier jetzt endlich losschlagen kann und vor den internationalen ähm, Strafgerichtshof in Den Haag äh, gehen kann. Und ich werde selbst auch übrigens dabei sein bei dieser Übergabe, werde das filmen und werde Interviews machen und so weiter direkt dann vor Ort. So, um, I will be part of uh, uh, this uh, reporting and, and, and once we are um, um, ready to, to say uh, or to proclaim the date when we will be in front of the International Criminal Court in, in The Hague, um, we will uh, announce this and we will also invite other media to come and report about this or to take our uh, reports and to bring this um, uh, also simultaneously or uh, as an archive on their respective websites and media. So um, please be aware there will be a press release soon once we uh, are, uh, you know, acting. So this is very important for everybody and uh, demanding um, the truth and uh, bringing out the information. And I will separately bring out the video uh, with my, um, you know, uh, English uh, version uh, of this uh, 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 huge scandal um, in, uh, as soon as I can. But I also ask you to discuss this uh, with your uh, governments and your people in your respective countries. Because if they know that uh, their own governments, whoever uh, you take, whether it's the United States, whether it's Canada, which, whether it's Australia, whether uh, those are any European states or nations, uh, you're dealing uh, with the Federal Republic of Germany, which is not a sovereign state and which uh, has not a constitutional government. So if you want to deal with them, you first have to ask uh, for their legitim uh, legitimation, uh, their, their, uh, you know, whether they really are, uh, are allowed to act the way they do. And you can always refer to this uh, court uh, ruling, which I put in uh, to the description box once uh, I make this video. And uh, please uh, have a look there. Um, and I hope we get uh, an English translation soon of this official uh, uh, document. But in, if not, I mean, we try to to summarize at least uh, the findings in English as well. Uh, but just listen to what I said, and uh, even if uh, not all words were legally correct, <laughs> at least I think the uh, the uh, uh, you know the summary was uh, pretty good to be understood. All right. Um, so this is um, what I wanted to share with you because I think this is very important, and we need your help worldwide to discover and uh, um, and open up this uh, Pandora's box. Because I mean, once Germany or the Federal Republic of Germany, which is basically what I assume, just a, another Rothschild. Uh, corporation structure uh, will fall as such, then a lot of uh, worldwide scams will fall as well and no more war will be possible and no more uh, bankster scams will be possible the way they happened and especially in Europe this will end this uh, this uh, catastrophic uh, uh, you know, governing which is taking place and um, thus uh, this is very important to do all right. Um, now, I do thank uh, a lot um, for listening to my part of the show. We will have uh, great um, guests and hosts uh, coming up 
uh, within the next, uh, uh, I don't know, 10 hours or whatever. Uh, so if you're interested in the whole program, please have a, a look at our website, which is uh, unitedwestrike.com, uh, com, and uh, you go on to the... Um, the right side um, of uh, this website and you click on the uh, pages of United We Win and then you will see the uh, uh, United We Win August 11th Marathon schedule um, and uh, after I'm finished here we will go to the UK uh, with uh, Neil Foster of the Sovereign Independent which will start on top of the hour of the next hour and uh, we will go into a break uh, soon. And uh, I also will uh, hand over production to my friends um, because then I'm, um, you know, switching the channels. All right. And um, I do thank you. And we will uh, listen uh, now to the end of the show to um, the uh, song of rotation, which is someone else's life. And I always say we need to support our musicians as well. So please uh, stay tuned. And I do thank you again for your uh, listening. And we will see each other uh, from the next uh, marathon, which is taking place uh, on the second uh, Saturday of next month in September. Also with my part of the show, two hours in German, one in English. And uh, have a good Hi. day. Everyone, this is Karen encouraging you to join us the second Saturday of every month for our United We Strike, United We Win Marathon. Don't buy, don't comply, ask why. Don't buy anything from multinational corporations or anything you don't research for yourself. Don't comply by keeping your money in institutions that deal in derivatives or war profiteering. And ask why. Why am I here and what am I doing? Am I part of the problem or the solution? We need to get to the heart of the matter. We need your energy, folks. Help us every single 15th of the month. We want you there. UnitedWeWin.me, also streamed on Wolf Spirit Radio. Thank you for your time. Power to the people through peaceful unity.